Professor Fimpon Boatin has in recent times been vilified and commended for his report on the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, which names some politicians and influential persons for their alleged involvement in Galamse. Addressing the full Gospel Businessmen's Fellowship in Kumase, the former Minister of Environment used scriptures to drum home his campaign for the protection of the environment. When we are destroying our environment, we see we are not alone. We, all the other creatures of God, are very important. God created us so that we take care of them. There are many cattle as well in Ghana. So we have bears that take care of the dead animals so that we don't get sick. Vultures and so on. When was the last time you saw a vulture? Because if you attack, vultures need tall trees and, and these animals and these bears. If you destroy their habitat, if you destroy their food, source of water, they will die. Imagine us. If somebody comes here, he's more powerful than us, he bulldozes our houses, takes away our water, our, our food. What will happen to us? So we are supposed to take care of these things and we are messing up God's thing and we think we are smart. God is not happy with that. If you look at in the book of Revelation 11 verse 18, the nations are angry because your wrath have come. The time has come for you to punish the dead and to reward the servants, the prophets, the saints who reveal your name. And the last line is, and to punish those who destroy the earth. Professor Frempon Boatin says Christians should be ready to speak the truth and face the consequences. These are the things that make me who I am, standing for God. So my point is that if we could get Christians, not many, good people, a thousand is too much for Ghana, who will get up each morning and say, Lord, thank you for giving me life. What do I have to do today to make my workplace a better place? If uh, uh, a church, how many pastors will say, what do I have to do to make this enterprise a, a good place? Taxi drivers. What do I have to do to make this job go to that my madam or my master? Shopkeepers, this. And then you do what you have to do without any selfish motives. This country will change. I believe that. And I want to be part, I'll be part of that. I will, I will tell the truth and face the consequences. Fujo News, Nana Bwachi Tankwe Yadom, reporting.